Welcome to the video that will show you how to use the ATAR forecasting template that is available on this particular website. Okay, once you go to it and download the template, uh, it'll open up and it'll look like this. Okay, what we need to do is just simply fill in the yellow cells. So you go start by, by naming whatever your new product is. So I'll just put in new product, you give it a name. Okay, that's the start point. So all we're going to go through and do is override each of these. What is the size of your target market? How quickly is it growing? And then we would have that information hopefully fairly easily and readily from statistics. And then we go through and we fill in the actual ATAR variables. What I've done is I've provided this template over a five year period. So you'll need to have estimations of each of these. As you can see, awareness is growing. That makes sense. Trial is probably slowly decreasing. Availability, that will increase over time. And repeat, um, obviously we're going to try and work at holding customers and improving the product and expanding the product line. So we would expect repeat purchases to go up as well. Okay, once we have all that, uh, these numbers in grey, they all calculate automatically. All we've got to think about then is what is the loyalty rate of the customer? Now we've got repeat here. What that means is they buy it once and they buy it again. They become repeat customers. So as you can see, at the end of the first year, we've had, I suppose, 2,000 people trial it, and then 800 of them have decided to rebuy the product again. As we go forward, some of those customers will disappear, they will stop being loyal, and we will get new customers trialing the product again because our marketing efforts are increasing. And what we're going to have is a pool of new customers coming in, becoming new loyal customers, adding to our pool, and over time, they progressively move in and out as well. So you'll need to have some sort of loyalty rate. One would assume if you have a fairly good repeat rate, you'll have a fairly good loyalty rate. Okay, and the only other significant area we have to think about in terms of the, the sales and profit forecast is how much does each consumer on average buy of the product? Um, so I've just put down you know, a couple, of, couple every month, 20 a year. What is the price? Now this is important. If we're a manufacturer, we're selling to a retailer. So what are we selling it for? What's the cost us to make it? And we've got to work out, well, the computer works out for you, the margin. Okay, you notice I have a, a low price here, then I move it up. Often when we have the product in the market for the first year, it has a relatively low um, price to encourage discounting, to encourage the retailers to discount to encourage take up and consumption and initial trial. But that's up to you. And then down the bottom we've got, okay, what's it going to cost us to develop the product and how much do we have to spend on marketing support over the five years? Um, and then the calculation works out how much profit you make each year. You can see we're losing money initially. Um, how much profit we'll be making over time. And then uh, it works out all, all the all the numbers down the bottom here for us, which are important. Now I'm going to set this back to I decrease the um, size of the target market or the buying units, which made all, all our numbers not look very profitable. So I've just adjusted them back to five million. Okay, an optional thing is your product a product line extension, and it may erode sales of an existing product from you from that same company. If yes, you build in. Okay, 20% of our new sales is going to come from our own products, and on those products we normally make $3.25 margin. Okay, and these numbers here, profits, will be readjusted for the impact of cannibalization. If you don't have anything, just set it to zero, and as you can see, those numbers uh, duplicate, but I'll, I'll, I'll put them back in just to see the impact. Okay, and then this becomes our bottom line. So in a five-year period, uh, by the end of the fifth year, we're making $2.5 million a year. 
at the end of the five years in total, our contribution after all our bits and pieces of expenditure, etc. We now have four and a half million dollars we've created. And down the bottom, we've got net present value. We've made a 52% return. Uh, you know, we've got turn, turn a million dollars into four and a half million dollars. So that's that 450% uh, return, etc. And we've got a payback inside three years. So at the end of, this is the third year, year one, two, and three, you can see our ongoing profit contribution has now become positive. So that's our break even point. And again, if you're not sure what a discount rate is or you don't need it, we just set that to zero and it just picks up that number. You see the same number there without discounting. Again, I'll put it back. Um, if, it's, if you need to have one, you can just dial it accordingly. Okay, so that's how you use the template. There is lots of information on the site, so just visit that and it will answer all your questions.